Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Dr. Therese Bright and Dr. Anthony Bright. Uh, join us as we're going to praise the Lord today. You may not know these songs. These are songs that the Holy Spirit has given my husband and I, and have written them. Amen? Amen. Holy Spirit.
and a blessing of favor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God is good, His loving kindness, and His tender mercy endure to us forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is you are blessed by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit through the favor through of God. Amen. Amen. And we're going to turn to Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We hope you enjoyed that praise and worship. Amen. Amen. And it reads, And of Natalie, he said, Of Natalie, Satisfied with favor, and full with the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. Amen. See, we talked about favor is a blessing God has given to us. Amen. See, not a lot. You are satisfied with what? With favor, favor. Full of the blessing of God. When the sign posts, people are full of the blessing of God. They walk in unlimited favor with God, with people. And, and through their obedience to God. That's wonderful. Praise God. Because of a person's obedience level, that's how they uh, have favor with God and with people. Amen. And also, as individuals pay their tithes and offerings, that increases the favor in their lives. Amen. As we've seen that happen over and over, that people have had favor, more favor on their lives because of <laughs> um, paying their tithes and offerings. Amen. Amen. And uh, God is faithful and just and he loves people but when they're disobedient they lose favor That's it. just same with uh when a child disobeys the parent that child loses favor with their parent yeah so we lose favor with father god as children of god when uh when we're disobedient amen see read that person we see how uh, favor and blessings connected together we are okay. talking about you are blessed by the holy spirit through manifestation of the favor of god Amen. This is Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. And reads, And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. See? Full of the blessing of God. Amen. God's blessings ability to make us prosperous, to increase and multiply. Amen. Praise God. And the favor of God, hallelujah, is upon Naphtali, it's also upon Joseph. Amen. Psalm 5, right there. Psalm 5, verse 12. Okay. Let's go to Psalm 5, verse 12. Glory be to God. Are you enjoying these beautiful people out there? Amen. Let's see your smile. Thank Praise you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 5, verse 12. For thou, o Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, what thou compass him as with a shield. Amen. So we see righteousness of God in Christ Jesus release the favor of God upon us. Amen. Once we apply the blood of Jesus, as we taught in previous lesson, and we use the blood of Jesus, we become righteous like Jesus is righteous. Amen. It's not based on our performance, it's based on obedience to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. So the favor is connected with blessing. Glory be to God. And the blessing has no limit, so his favor has no limit. The more you have favor with God, the more favor surround you as for sure, as we read Psalm 5, verse 12, a few minutes ago. Amen. And then also in Job 10, 12, Amen. it talks about favor. So let's see what Job 10, 12 has to say. And it reads, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. Uh -huh. So this is important, as we see here, it says, and this is Job saying, God, you have granted me life and favor. So, because uh, Job was a faithful man, a godly, God-fearing man, Amen. God granted him life and favor. And it says, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. So he said, he's, God granted him life, favor, and he visited him with his spirit. Amen. The presence of the Lord was upon him, Amen. which also gives you favor. Amen. When you have the presence of the Lord on you, people just like you. Amen. They're just drawn to you. Amen. And why are, the presence of the Lord is to upon you, not only to be a blessing to you, but to be a blessing to others. Amen. So that's what Tark, you're blessed to be a blessing Amen. As you, uh, when you have God's favor. Amen. Amen. You're uh, just as uh, uh, Jacob 
when he went to work for his uncle Laban, he everything that Laban, Laban's had uh, was blessed and things multiplied and increased because of the favor of God on uh, Jacob. Amen. And the same with Joseph. Everything that Joseph did when he worked for um, Potiphar, uh, Potiphar's whole household was blessed. And he had favor and uh, the presence of the Lord was on him. When he went to the prison, in the prison house, they gave him favor because he ended up running the whole prison. They Amen. gave him uh, that job instead of being like a normal prisoner. He, he was able to supervise and run the whole prison Amen. because of his favor and the grace of God on his life. So he was blessed with favor because of the blessing of the Holy Spirit. So he's blessed and made a blessing. Amen. Amen. The favor of God is so rich. Mm -hmm. He has given to us his children when we continue to keep his word and walk in willing obedience. Amen. See, we see how righteousness is going to be in favor, mercy is going to be in favor, goodness of the Lord is going to be in favor, the, the blessing of the Lord is going to be in favor. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Favor is unlimited mercy and grace released upon God's children. Praise God. And let's hear, let's see what they say about uh, Jesus Amen. in Luke 2 52. Amen. And it reads, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Amen. And this is, uh, in Luke 2.52, this is a prayer you can pray over yourself Amen. and over your children. And, and put your name in there and say, And Jane and Joe increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Praise God. So those are the things that you're speaking over yourself so that you have uh, increased in wisdom and favor with God and man. Amen. Amen. So there are degrees of favor. I don't know about you. I want to go to the top notch. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. May God continue to test you and prove you in his word. Once you bless, you keep his word, you rise it up in his favor. The more you keep his word, you rise up in his favor. The more you keep his word, you rise up in his favor. So we are going from favor to favor, from grace to grace, Amen. goodness to goodness, favor to favor, faith to faith, love to love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And there's no limit on the favor God to put up your life as you allow Him. Amen. And, and that favor keeps opening doors for you. That's it. It keeps opening doors. If you want a door open that's been closed to you for a long time, increase your obedience and your favor will increase and the doors will just be wide open to you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Wonderful. It's a good thing. Amen. So, so any other scriptures? Acts 2, verse 47. Let's go to Acts 2, verse 47. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts 2, 47, it reads, Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Hmm. So here the people were praising God, mm -hmm. and, he came, and that praise went up, and, and they had favor with all the people, and then the Lord added to the church Hallelujah. daily such as should be saved. Amen. 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 So that's another um, praise also brings down favor. favor when you're praising God because you lose favor when you're a complainer. Think about it. As soon as you start complaining, everything <laughs> goes from bad to worse. Yeah. Amen. So we don't want to complain. We want to be praisers, be grateful, thankful. And uh, other people will see that you have a, you know, the world says I, that person's very positive. Well, they're very praise. Uh, they're a praiser, amen, a person that's thankful and grateful, and they praise God in their own way instead of uh, complaining, which, uh, which causes you to lose favor. Nobody wants to be around a negative person. A negative person is repelled by people, and a positive person attracts people, amen? Because yeah. everybody wants to be around somebody that's successful, and a successful person is very positive, a, a praiser, upbeat, a upbeat, you know, amen. happy. Thank you, Jesus. God. So let's also go to Exodus uh, 33, I think it's 12, verse 12. Let's go back to the Old Testament and see what it says in Exodus here. Exodus is um, 33, verse 12. And it reads, And Moses said unto the Lord, See thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wouldst send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Verse 13, Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, 
Show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Amen. Amen. So when his presence went with him, uh, Moses had rest, and he had favor with God. Amen. Amen. The similar thing is also written in Genesis chapter 6, concerning Noah. Okay. See? Let's go to Genesis 6. Do not find grace or favor before God. Genesis chapter 6, see verse 7. Okay, Genesis 6, verse 7. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. He has favor or grace in sight of the Lord. That is why the blessing God pronounced Adam and Eve was also pronounced on him too. Amen. Because it said he was a just man and perfect in his, in his generation. Amen. So, and he was able to walk with God. Amen. You can't walk with God unless you have favor. Amen. Because God doesn't, uh, he resists the proud and stays with the humble. A humble person is an obedient person. Amen. That's why we, we can call on the Holy Spirit to ask us to be obedient and to increase the favor on our lives. Amen. Amen. Let's check the book of uh, Esther, where Esther found favor before the king. Okay. Esther chapter 3. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify, we exalt, and Thank glorify you, our name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. This is chapter 2, between chapter 2 and chapter 3. Also, chapter 5 to our Esther. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We worship you. We praise you, Lord. We praise okay. you. You find it? We praise your name. That's a chapter 2. Okay, Nana Mama, we worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We magnify your name. Okay. Meanwhile, I repeat this faith confession of a favor. I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. With God. With God and all people. And all people. I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. With God. With God. With everyone. With everyone. I'm most highly favored. I'm most highly favored. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. I'm the. I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. The favor of God. The favor of God is increasing. Is increasing. Okay. The favor of God. The favor of God is multiplying. Is multiplying in me and my life. Is multiplying on me and my life. I'm most highly favored. I'm most highly favored. Everything I put my heart on. Everything I put my hand on. Is most successful. Is most successful. Most prosperous. Most prosperous. Most flourishing. Most flourishing. I am. I am. The apple of God's eye. The apple of God's eye. I'm hidden. The hidden. In the secret place. In the secret place. Of God's most holy habitation. Of God's most holy habitation. I'm blessed forevermore. I'm blessed forevermore. Everybody does me good. Everyone does me good. In the mighty name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Let's read. Thank you, Lord. Esther, okay. chapter. Okay. Esther chapter 2, verse 15. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Ab Abihel, the, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her in for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Amen. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house, royal, the tenth month, which in the, is the month to Beth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins. Amen. So here, because of her beauty and her humility, she obtained grace and favor Amen. from the king. Amen. So the king... Here kind of represents Father God. Mm -hmm. So when we are humble and 
uh, obedient, we receive grace and favor from Father God. And uh, the Holy Spirit is with us to bless us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.